decimal. Incalculable number of universe can emerge from just one single pole. Another amazing phenomenon re relates to the speed of the expansion from this tiny particle to a huge universe. Space scientists told us that the particle expanded at an incredibly high speed, that is 10 to the power of 59 times bigger in every second. That means within less than 1,000th of a second, that particle had grown to a size bigger than our present solar system. The, the formation of one instant. This scientific finding verifies that uh, what Buddha had taught. Buddha said the formation and extinction of take only an in short, the genesis of our entire universe is as follows. In the beginning, there was nothing. Then suddenly appears a tiny particle. This tiny particle takes an unimaginable short time to form our entire universe. Currently, Scientists do not have meaningful explanation of this tiny particle and only have a subtle mathematical description. Precisely, Buddha Shakyamuni told us that this tiny particle is actually one's smallest wandering thought rising from the pure mind. And instantly, this wandering thought forms our entire universe. Finally, when uh, asked about the universe, uh, other universe aside from ours, Dr. Stan Oldenwald answered, according to the general relativity, our universe represents everything, including all space, time, and galaxies. Other universes are of totally different space and time completely outside our own space and time. Those universes do not now or ever will in the future have any physical contact with our universe. From our perspective, these other universe, universes are literally on the other side of eternally, eternity and infinity from our perspective. So, Buddha Shakyamuni also said that incalculable universes exist in numerous different dimensions, but we human beings are unable to see them because, uh, because of our wandering thoughts, differentiations, and attachments. These things block our vision. When we let go our wandering thoughts, differentiation, and attachments, we will be able to clearly observe the entire universe and all the universes. Let me summarize the messages we have discussed so far. First, the distance and time are merely illusions. Under some conditions, the space and time can vanish. You can appear in many places at the same time. And you can also observe the past, the present, and the future at the same instant. Second, things can be created from nothing. Objects can appear from vacuum. Pure energy can be converted to mass 
and vice versa. And finally, the origin of the universe is an extremely tiny particle that comes from nothing. It, takes, it took an extremely short instant for this tiny particle to expand into such a huge universe. Despite the significant progress in modern cosmology and space science, the universe still remains extremely profound to human beings. The more phenomena the scientists, the scientists discover, the more they realize that they knew so little about the universe. 3,000 years ago, Buddha Shakyamuni not only explained the true phenomena of this entire universe, but also showed us ways to attain the ultimate wisdom that will enable us to see it all very clearly. As Venerable Master Jing Kong said, it is unfortunate that our modern scientists did not have a chance to study Buddhism. Otherwise, modern science would have even more advanced achievement. And we strongly believe that as science advances, more facts taught by Buddha Shakyamuni will be proven. Finally, I want to quote a statement made by Albert Einstein, the father of modern science. Einstein said, quote, The religion of the future will be a cosmic religion. It should transcend a personal God and avoid dogmas and theology covering both the natural and the spiritual, it should be based on a religion sense arising from the experience of all things, natural or spiritual, and a meaningful uni unity. Buddhism answers this description. If there is any religion that will cope with modern scientific needs, it would be Buddhism." End quote. And finally, I'd like to express my gratitude to Venerable Master Jing Kong and the Pure Land Learning College for granting me this precious opportunity to speak here. We are also grateful to the space scientists for their hard work in their research, which enhance our understanding about the truth of the universe. What I have said today is limited by what I have learned in the area of cosmology. But the purpose of my presentation today is to trigger our thinking and to discuss the truth about the universe. If there is any error in my presentation, please kindly point it out to me. I would greatly appreciate your comments and suggestions. Thank you for listening.